All right, we're looking at the composition of functions section, and we're looking specifically at function composition right now. So what we're going to do is take a look at this, this second question here, B. We'll zoom in on it. Uh, notice again that this, okay, this is now G of F of negative 3. Now, order of operations is going to force us to look inside this first. So the first set of brackets here um, inside has got this negative 3 in here. Now, this is replacing the independent variable in the f of x, uh, sorry, in the f function. So we'll do that. Okay, I'm not going to do anything with g at this point here. But now if we take a look at the f function here, f is 4 minus the independent variable here, x. So we come over here, well, that independent variable is negative 3, so 4 minus negative 3 will be 7. Okay? So now that that's done, I can take a look at my function g of x here, and I've got the 7 in for the independent variable here, so this becomes 7 squared, or 49, plus 7 will end up being 56.